So what we're going to do now, um, we have this test folder of images um, where there's a couple of pictures of a dog. Can I ask something uh -huh. about the classes? Uh -huh. There is a definition for dynamics. Fx is x plus v by t. Why is that there? In, In the oh, classes? Oh, this is just an example. So for if we wanted to create a car object that we, you, we had multiple instances of, um, a class, the things that we would want for a driving car would be uh, like the car, just grabbing the car dynamics. So this is just saying that um, a car would, you know, given a time step t, we could calculate where the car is mm, or okay. what the, uh, yeah, where the, the car's new position is based on that time step, given the velocity. Uh, and so this is just describing, so for a class, like there's inherent properties of a class where like car type could be a Tesla, number of wheels, a car will always have four wheels. Um, and these will always be the same for each class instance. But this means that I could have, with the dynamics, I could have two different cars that might have two different starting locations x, um, but they would be described by the same dynamics as defined by this dynamics function. Uh, and I could just feed in time t to both of those cars and track them mm -hmm. over time. Um, so that's why the class, like an example of why the, cl the class structure is useful. Um, so for a neural network, for example, you could see uh, like for a generator class, it might always have the same uh, neural network structure, but you could have multiple generators. Or for a discriminator neural network, it will always have the same neural network structure, uh, but you could have multiple discriminators that would each train and have different weights associated with them. Um, yeah, does that, is, does that make sense? Yes. Okay.